What's up guys, DV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a League of Legends outro. So recently I've noticed that a lot of my subscribers are also League of Legends YouTubers. So I decided to help you guys out and we're going to be using Photoshop for this. So you will need to buy Photoshop or you could just get the trial version. It's pretty simple to get that. And you will also need a video editor which most of you should have. And if you don't, I'll be telling you one that is really good and simple to use. And you can also get it on a trial. Firstly, you just need to open up Photoshop, then go to File, New, and for the width and the height, make it 1920 by 1080, and that's if you're making a 1080p video. If you're making a 720p video, you can do 1280 by 720. Then for the background contents, just make it transparent. Now click on OK. Now there's a couple of different ways you can go about this. So you can have two boxes, or one box with your video in it, so like mine, I have two boxes, one for previous video and one for random video. What you could do is just have one box and then on the other side you could have all your social media links and all of the stuff like that. And at the bottom you can have like a subscribe button. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. I'll be showing you how to make it like mine is, so with two boxes and just like a subscribe button at the end. So to do that, firstly you just want to click on the rectangle tool which is over here and for the fill you want to have no fill and for the stroke you can make it any color you wish I'll just make it black and also you can make the stroke size a bit more bigger as well if you want now just click over here and for the width type in 854 and for the height type in 480 and just click on OK now I'll give you a pretty big rectangle so to make it smaller just click on Control plus T then hold shift and just make it smaller to where you like it so it looks pretty good about there and I'm just gonna click on the tick mark over here now the stroke doesn't look the best so I'm gonna make it a little bit more bigger and that looks pretty good now we just want to duplicate this layer so we have the same box on the other side so just click on Control and J now you'll have another layer as you can see make sure that it's selected and then again click on Control and T press shift and just drag it over and there we go it looks pretty good and again just click on the tick mark now to center them just go over to the move tool that's the first one over here now select both of them then control T now just hold shift and there we go it's in the center and then click on the tick mark again now we've got our boxes we just need to add some text to it so just click on the text tool and you can choose any font you want I'll be using Aldo the Apache I'll leave a link to it in the description below in case you want to download it. Then just click above the box and I'll just make it a little bit smaller. And the first one we just want to write previous video and actually I'll just make it below the box. It looks better over there and I'll change the color to white. And just make another one and we're going to call that one random video. Now to add some flavor to your text just right hand click on one of the layers then go on blending options now you can add all these different effects to it I'm just gonna get stroke firstly and make sure that the color is black and I'll just make the size about 4 that looks pretty good and then I'll also add a gradient overlay and I'll make it like a metallic look and you can also add a drop shadow if you want and then once you're happy with all your effects just click on OK now just right hand click on that layer and click on copy layer style go to the other layer and click on paste layer style so it will just give you the same effects so you don't have to do the whole thing again now I just want to add something on the top so I'll just click there and for that I'm just gonna use a different phone it's called space comics I'll leave a link to it in the description below in case you want to have it and then I'm just gonna type thanks for watching and I'll just make it a little bit smaller now again I'm just gonna paste that layer style so just right hand click on that layer and then paste layer style. So we have the same styling. Now this is very basic so make sure you take your time on this. I'm just doing this as an example so I'm doing it quickly. But if I was making it for myself I would spend a lot of time on it. And then right at the bottom we're just going to put subscribe here. So you can put an annotation over it and then people can just click on that and subscribe to your channel. Now again I'm going to use a different font for that. It's called Nexa Bold and I'm just gonna type subscribe here and then click on the tick mark and then again 
just paste the list out and actually I'll turn it down a bit because this is a smaller font now we just want to center the subscribe here button so just click on Control A then layer align layers to selection and then horizontal centers now just click on Control and D so we have the basic stuff done now you might be wondering where's the background so you can actually add a background if you want you could add a splash art of a favorite champion you have but what we're going to be making is a motion outro so what that means is we're going to leave the background transparent so once you go into your video editor you can just add a video underneath it so like a champion login screen so it looks like the background's moving and you, you just have like your thumbnails on there so it just makes it look a little bit more better and a little bit more appealing so to do that firstly you just want to save this so just go into file save as and then just choose where you want to save it and make sure you save it as a png and i'll just call it outro example and then click on ok if you don't have a video editor i would recommend camtasia studio 8 it's a really simple to use video editor and i use that as well and most of the new youtubers use that as well and again i'll leave a link to it below so just click on that link and you can download it and you can download it and you'll have it for 30 days so you can make this outro and also edit a few other videos and if you like it enough you could buy it so i'm just going to go ahead and open it up now once your video editor is loading up you can just open up your browser and you can just search for your champion's login screen so for example i'll be doing yasuo so i'll just type in yasuo login screen and then you come up with a video make sure that it's uploaded by league of legends because they have like the official stuff now once you've found it just click on it now you just want to download it so just go to youtube in mp4.com copy the url of the login screen and then just paste it over here and click on download mp4 and then again download mp4 now once it's downloaded just go over to your video editor now you just want to import your outro and the login screen so if you're using camtasia studio just click on import media and then just choose where you saved it so outro example i'm just going to open that and the login screen is in downloads so i'll just open that as well make sure it's the first thing that you drag because you want it to be below the actual outro so that you can actually see it now once you've done that just go ahead and drag the outro onto there now you can just trim it to however long you want it so for me i just want it to be about 10 seconds long so i'll just cut it over here and delete the rest of the part and i just want to make sure that it's in the right dimension so i'll just make it hd so this is how it look so there we go we have it so now you just want to render it out so just click on produce and share if you're on camtasia studio so i'll just click on produce and share once again and then custom production settings next 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 and pretty much just choose where you want to save it so again i'll just type in outro example and click on finish give it a few seconds and it will render out now you can just go ahead and play it back And there we go it looks great that's all for this video make sure to like comment and subscribe let's see if we can hit seven likes in this video thanks for watching until next time peace